Hello, this is another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, we are here to discuss the biggest entertainment stories. I've got my amazing co anchors with me, amazing. Benny Ak and Ife Olua. What's up, ladies? What's up? Hi, amazing yeah. people. How are you yeah. doing, amazing people? <laughs> great, well. great. Always feels good to have Ife to my left here, man. So it's, it's good. I'm definitely going to sit here. <laughs> Please, Elsie. You need to break no, this. No, talking where you are. I can, I can across across the table, but it's just all right. I don't need just you. Right I just need to it. break it up. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is a pretty serious conversation going on on social media. Hilda Dokubo says a man with the reputation of Senator Elisha Abok cannot be the patron of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Um, an organization she is part of. We'll check out that video in a bit. However, Kate Henshaw has also responded to this. She took to Twitter to say, Senator Elisha Abo is not worthy to be a patron of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. She said, quote, we have women in this guild and we do not want to be slapped. Okay, so take a look at um, Hilda's video. When you appoint a patron, it is because the patron has something that you want to gain and leverage on. So it can be financial gain, moral gain, or in the case of a guilt, brand gain. Who remembers that senator from Adamawa State, the one who was found in a sex toy shop? where he slapped the owner of the shop and was threatening her with his police officer and was ranting. You remember the one where people had to go on social media to call for justice? Yes, that one. Before he got arrested and then he was sued to court, blah, blah, blah. Then he came up with this pseudo apology where he was miming apologizing because no one ever apologizes reading from a sheet of paper. Right? Yes, that one. Senator Elisha Abu. Yes. Okay, so this last week, the Actors Guild of Nigeria had an investiture on patrons and um, the unveiling of our dream secretariat. And I was going through the pictures and videos. Then I saw this sword arm sticking out on the line of patrons. Kind of flesh. No brain. In the form of human standing on that line. Like how? How did we get there? How did he get on that line? The man has the shittiest reputation that I can think of. No character whatsoever. Okay, is it money that we want? Who was he before he became... Okay, so before I get your reactions, mm -hmm. let's um, get a response from um, the president of the Actors League of Nigeria himself, Emeka Rulas. He was in the studio earlier today and we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So take a look. The issue, it doesn't matter how many people react to this. What matters is, what is the difference between morality and legality before Prima Fasche? You understand the point? The man in question, he has not been proven to be a serial woman beater. Mm. If he had a case which no competent court of jurisdiction had convicted him on that matter, why should AGM be robbed into it? This same person has nine, nine membership of nine committees in the Senate. This person is still representing his people in the Senate. Nobody has removed him from that point. Nobody has removed him as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And AGN did not appoint him patron as a measure to celebrate him having beaten a woman. Do you understand the point? The, the patronship came on the heels of his people appointing him, nominating him for this position. You understand the point? So people can turn these things around. All the names you have mentioned have been in this industry for the past 20 years. And I do not think that they have done anything particularly for the Actors Guild of Nigeria not as individual celebrities who are doing their businesses. When we come to a collective responsibility, it's not when you see these things, you jump on the social media. Social media is not a medium for the governance of our guild, and it cannot be. So you can gather up people, it becomes a conspiracy theory. It's simple that maybe there's something you are pursuing or something you are targeting. But I have said, as an organization, if you see something that is not right, there are mediums, do up a letter, 
write or call or send a message and we'll feed you back. The first time you saw his name on that list, because you had to go through them for confirmation, yes. did you feel any type of way? I feel like. It depends on the feeling you're talking about. I know the story they are raising. Mm -hmm. But you see... And I, we, we saw the slap. Even see, if we know that, yes, we were supposed to wait okay. for a competent court. Okay, below, hold. Right? You to saw say, the slap. Yeah, we Did saw you also happened. see the apology? Yeah, we saw the apology. Fine. Which a lot of the, people are saying that apology that, is that not... It, see, it doesn't, it doesn't count. What you should be asking here is, whether did he come out to apologize? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Will you now be... Is the woman involved? Did the woman say she didn't accept the apology? in all of this that we are saying. Mm. For crying out loud, when I mention morality and legality, you ask us who is holier than Senator Abu. There was a committee set up in the Senate on this same matter, and the committee did not convict him. Is Actors Guild a body to be used to do all of this? People should just go and see that. There's no point sentimentalizing issues, just maybe to drive a point. We know, where, we know the stage where people who are fighting for women's rights operate, mm -hmm. but not within the confines where Actors Guild is involved. I don't want to begin to mention names, but if we begin to dig into people's personal lives, honestly, people who have mentioned these names, they may not even stand in the morality test. Yeah. Okay, so let me start with Benny. Um, um, <laughs> this guy, this, this guy has lost me in so many ways, mm. in so many counts, and I'm just confused. What exactly is he saying? What is the difference between legality and morality? And... He, he comes to the defense of a man, of a sitting senator who shouldn't be on the seat right now for mm. assaulting a woman, first in a sex toy, which is his business, for entering a sex toy. All right? But the fact that he assaulted a woman, that is big deal. And he doesn't think there's anything wrong mm. nominating and making such a person the patron of his organization. Then it, it's in all, the words of um, uh, Hilda, she said the organization, Actors Guild of Nigeria, is supposed to entertain educate and motivate positive actions uh, in the society. And Michael Rollins has got me thinking all sorts. I got all, all shades of doubt about his own his own morality no, and legality and, and right standard, now. I yeah. mean, you know, like, what exactly is he saying? That um, he's not looking at the person, the morality of um, Elisha Abo, and so he's looking at what is legality of him being elected by people to become the patron of the actor guild of Nigeria, then you're saying somebody who can be convicted of murder or and was not, I mean, hey, was alleged to have murdered somebody and was not convicted because he's still a sitting senator. Just imagine. I mean, can also be made a patron of an actor's guild. He, he lost me there and he's beginning Completely. to look as if, you know, there's a whole lot more to me because let's define who a patron is. Mm -hmm. Why somebody who's, who supplies, who provides some sort of financial support or mm. in other ways to a person or group of persons. And so, evidently, Elisha Yabo Abo has money. Yeah, and in so, his defense, he said he's been doing a lot for the Actors Guild of Nigeria in the Northeast region. So, apparently, uh, six names came up, um, then they trickled down to two, Elisha Abo and the other woman. Mm. So, I, I don't know And the other woman, so, no, no, no. Um, it's just so easy to, to pick up the person of Elisha Abo. Mm. You know, it, it's just sad. It's the culture of impunity that people would do stuff and get away with it. That's, that's what, um, that's the case we have with Elisha Abo. He did something that was what him going to jail for, for him you resigning know, for to the say, culture you know what, I'm not supposed to be. You know, people do stuff and mm. get away with it, doesn't make it legal, doesn't Thank make you. it right. And because he's holding on to the fact that uh, there was a committee set up within the Senate like, and he wasn't proven guilty. Hello, sir, what are you saying? In today's, in 2020. Hmm. Uh, no. He shouldn't have said that. Um, no. It's, you know, when, <laughs> when we talk about this, and let's, I have to bring in feminism here, I have to bring in the Me Too movement. When we start to talk about things like this, you say, oh, no, we're doing too much. It's not necessary. It's not important. But this is 2020. We have the COE, the CEO, president, president, president. Mm -hmm. opening his mouth to say that it is okay to watch someone assault a woman physically on camera get away with it, and I will still support you because you have money. And because and the that has not proven you Exactly. Guilty. This is the kind of person that if, I, if I, there was a record of me being raped, he was, and the person went away scot-free, maybe because of lack of he will lawful the evidence, the he will, will still say you. that that is okay. So there's something wrong with our moral compass. It's definitely something wrong with how we view women in this country. Mm -hmm. There's something um, wrong with our system. And to say that patri patriarchy doesn't exist... Of course. Well, no, not, no, I don't no, want to... Does I want anybody to, deny that? Yeah, uh, this it morning we still had, um, what's it called, senator... The senators are... 
<laughs> What's that lady saying that there's no need for feminism and there's no need for gender, whatever, and oh, that, that those, okay. all those such things um, don't Itagiwa. happen? Itagiwa. You know, mm -hmm. And he, he coming on, on to say, you know, trying to debunk um, what um, refutes totally what Hilda Du Cooper said and um, was a lady, Kid Henshaw, Kid Henshaw now. He's just trying to say they're not members of the actor guild. Oh, yeah, of I asked him at some point. I did yes. members, and he said he has to check the record to know. And I'm saying if you're the president, a person of the caliber, I agree. He said they have two million members, right? That's a huge number. But if the but president, you know about Ken Henshaw, do you know that Ken Henshaw, Henshaw Kubo. And he would add the Kubo, if they are members of your association, whatever, even if the association is association of women that sweep the road, you will know. Yeah. So I, I I really don't know how to it, and it was, it was and he quite, also said yeah. that social media is not the place I was just going there. where decisions for the association is uh, made. I'm, I'm sorry, I think maybe that, that I, I think after this he'll get to realize that social media can't mar or make this organization and based mm -hmm. on his comments he just made now, because I'm I'm concerned. If you don't think there's anything wrong with appointing a man who allegedly on video, caught on video, assaulting a woman severely in a sex toy. And you don't think, I mean, the ground for morality should firstly not make you in the first place. His name shouldn't have popped up in that list. At all. To stay far away don't from that. It? Even that if he believed in it secretly, like he didn't care that somebody was beating them publicly, mm -hmm. you shouldn't even want to stay away from that. Me too needs to come to Nigeria now because Sorry. we have a new face. He's like... And I, and I feel like he's even worse to me. He is worse than the, the, um, the Elisha, the Elisha guy. guy. You know, because you are sourcing and encouraging this habit. What is stopping somebody else from stopping someone else when we when I know that nothing nothing happens? And when you look at I Kate keep Hanshaw's, my job, um, I, I, I keep flourishing. She said, we don't want to be slapped. You think it's a joke until you listen to his um, submission and realize that that is not a joke. Yeah. Because he can come into the association and slap anybody, slap people. And that's it. It says some things also that um, that if the, most of the people talking about Elisha Abo, that if they should if they should look into their own lives, that um, what's oh, the yeah. word? Yeah, you said who? That um, is yeah. let, like please, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not, you need to understand. In case you watch this, this so we need to understand that we're not saying that they need to be angels. But if your habit has gotten so bad that it's become public, we need to publicly address that. And that's why you don't have to publicly endorse somebody with that type of behavior. When they decide to come out with their with their characters, we will fish them out as well. So I'm not saying that what Jesus Christ I want to be saviors but this person has brought theirs out act accordingly okay more of that clip can be found on our YouTube page at plus TV Africa and of course the full um, conversation will be aired on plus TV Africa 12 30 p.m. tomorrow we're going to a very quick break but when we return we have a guest go anchor